Hello, in this video we will fix that error that comes with Anaconda environment that will say, tell you something like environment file not found. So in this particular prompt, I want to create a new environment with the name tests. But when I press enter here, it will tell me that environment file is not found. Well, there are two ways to go about this. And the first way is that you specify a particular version of Python you want to use. So if I bring up the command again and say Python equal to say 3.10.0 and I press enter. In some cases this will work for me. Okay, this one too true an error. Sometimes um, the Python version might not really exist on Conda. Let me try this. They have specific versions of Python they use. Okay, so you see that uh, this is even still creating errors. Let me try Python 3.9 and see. Okay, so this particular error too can be coming like that. Sometimes when you, you see in my case, I specified the Python version and it didn't work. Maybe in your case, it will work. So the next option is for us to create this particular file. So just take notice of the path, whether you are on Linux, Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. Just take note of the path. It is saying that in my C drive, in my users folder and Tommy folder, it is looking for this file, but it's not finding it. So take note of the name of this file. So what I can do is to come to my local disk C, this PC local disk C, and then I'm supposed to come inside the Tom, uh, users folder. So that is where I will go. Open users. And then I have to come inside Tommy. So I open Tommy. So whichever name, whichever path you see here, just follow that path, whether, uh, whichever operating system you are using. So this is the place where it is expecting the uh, environment.yml file that is not finding it. So we have to create this file manually. If you are on Windows, before you do this, just make sure that you have your uh, file name extensions checked here. So you come to the top, the view tab, just make sure that this box that says file name extensions is checked. Okay, so when that one is done, what we can do is we right click, new, and then text document. And then we change the name of this to environment. And then you will see that at the end, you, there is .txt. What we have to do is to remove the .txt and put YML there. When you hit enter, Windows will prompt you that you want to change the file name, uh, the extension. You just have to press yes. And now we have this file existing in uh, the part that was specified. If you are on Linux or Mac, I think it should be quite simple. Or if you're on Windows and then you have git bash installed like this, you can open. Uh, I think I wanted to say open in terminal. Okay, so I think it is, let me see, let me do a quick ls and see if it's the same place that I am. Okay, am I seeing the environment.yml? Okay, so it's the same place. In that case, you can just simply say touch touch and then the name of the file environment.yml like that that one too will create it for you but i've already created this so i'll not create it and now what we have to do is to open this file with any text editor i'll choose visual studio code so it's open on this other screen so i've opened it like this and then come inside your browser let's search for anaconda environment.yml and then scroll down to see environments, the one from Anaconda distribution, this one. Click on it, it should take us to the environment page. And then when you get to this page, just scroll down to you get to the end, you see here, creating an environment file manually, click on that one. And then it scrolls us to this place where there is an example environment dot YML file. So what I'll do is to copy this, maybe up to this point, and then come inside Visual Studio Code and then paste it. When you paste it now, this place you can change the name to anything that you want, but I'll leave it as default. 
these channels I will delete it and type default. I don't want the JavaScript channel. And then the dependencies here is if you want anything to be installed by default when the environment is created, then fine. But I don't want anything to be installed, so I'll remove all of them and tell it to use Python 3.9 to create my environment. If you want another version of Python to use, you can say 3.10, but I think I'll go with the default like that. So once you finish, save this file, and then when you are done, come back to your Conda uh, prompt. And then now when you, you don't even need to add the, the Python version when you submit the prompt and press enter, you see that it will create your environment for you. So let me know if it worked. If you still have a problems, be sure to leave it in the comments and I'll come back and check it for you. Goodbye.